Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to check out a very cool figure. This is the Bullyland Mastodonsaurus. This is a figure that I personally have wanted for ages. However, this one is not mine. This one was actually sent to me by Semaj Larama, who you may remember has sent a few packages over here to the channel from time to time with some really cool stuff. He usually sends over a package where I have absolutely no idea what is in it, and then he just surprises me with some really cool figures. And in fact, he did that when he sent this over. He sent me quite a few figures that I'll definitely be reviewing here on the channel very soon. But he had sent this one over for me to repaint for him, and I asked him if it would be possible for me to review it before I repainted it, and he agreed. He said that would be a good idea. He actually suggested that I should review it and then paint it and then show the final paint product here on the channel at the end of the video. So, of course, I will do that. But, again, this is a figure that is so hard to find, like, unbelievably rare and difficult to get a hold of, as a lot of Bullyland figures usually are, but specifically this one is definitely, in my opinion, one of the hardest ones to find, and that is unfortunate because it's honestly the only figure I know of of this species, so I wish it was definitely a little more abundant, not quite so complicated to find, or at least someone would make another one, because again, it's a beautiful looking figure that we have here, but the species in general is beautiful, so I would love to see more companies produce figures of the Mastodon. But regardless, let's go ahead, jump straight to a closer look at this figure right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Mastodonsaurus, you might right away notice that this one is pretty beat up. So of course, if you can find one in mint condition, I'm sure it would look much nicer than what we see here on this one, as this one clearly has seen its day of play and has a lot of the paint worn off. And I apologize if you hear any banging or anything in the background as there are people putting on a new porch here on my house, so it's a little bit loud right now. But as far as what you can see here, the texturing of the skin looks pretty darn nice throughout. Very nicely sculpted as far as the overall appearance to the figure goes. You've got the eyes that are beautifully sculpted out. They looked like they were probably painted with yeah, there, that eye definitely looks better. So we had like a yellow and a black pupil. And then we also have quite a bit of color variation to the figure as far as what Bullyland has given us. As we have quite a few varying shades of lighter and darker shades of browns and tans. And even some slight hints of greens showing up in certain spots. Like the mouth in general is nicely elaborated with a very dark brown. And although the paint has worn off, you can see that it runs around the entire outer edge of the mouth. The mouth is also beautifully sculpted, very nicely done. Done. Here on the underside, you can see lots of creasing as far as the skin detail goes all throughout the entire underside of the lower jaw leading down into the throat. It is just creasing galore down there. Up here, again, you have a very nice kind of smooth appearance to the skin in many different areas, but you also have very bumpy areas of the skin, as that is pretty much what I think you would expect to see on this type of animal. You can also see the teeth right there sticking out of the top of the snout of the Mastodonsaurus. You have some nice creasing here as we lead back into the neck region, also leading down into the legs. You have some more creasing right there at the joint of the leg. Again, a very nice bend in the leg right there. The creases are pretty abundant throughout the entire course of the leg leading down into the foot. You have a very nice darker coloration there for the foot and some pretty nicely sculpted out toes down there. As you lead up here to the back, you can see the spinal column running down nicely along the back of the animal. You also have some very dark brown spots and stuff highlighting certain areas here on the back of the animal. Again, we continue to have more of that really nice looking skin texture. Like I really feel like this might be one of the nicest sculpts that I've seen from Bullyland because it's so different than many of the previous sculpts. Like if you look at their dinosaurs, like they're almost always sculpted with that same almost generic style of scaling. And uh, this is a very huge difference as far as that goes. So it really shows when Bullyland wants to produce something that looks super nice as far as the skin detail goes. They have the ability to do that. They just sometimes get a little lazy and just, I guess, reuse the same texture stamps as far as their dinosaurs go. You can see some nice wrinkling and stuff here down on the side of the figure as you lead back here into the leg. Again, you see more of those kind of bumps all throughout the course of the figure. Lots of creasing here along the back of the leg. You have more of that dark brown showing up right there in the knee as you move down into the foot. Again, the toes are sculpted pretty darn nicely. And we again transition to that darker coloration there for the toes. As we lead out into the tail, again, you can see how nice the skin detail looks. You have more creasing and stuff throughout the course of the tail. There's no real flashy coloration 
you know, added to this one. Just some nice dark and light tones of brown, but I think it looks natural, kind of what I would expect to see on an animal like this. I would have maybe expected more of like a green or something like that. I don't know why it just feels like this would definitely be a greenish coloration, but who knows for sure. And in fact, when I actually repaint this, it's going to come out in a totally different coloration than green. So it'll be very different than the greenish coloration that I personally have in my head for it. But you can see again that the detailing looks very similar on this side in comparison to what we had just seen on the previous side. Some more really nice creasing and stuff, especially here at the joint of the leg. Pretty similar look to the leg over here, although I will say that this side is absolutely taking a step forward. You can see the animal in general is sculpted in a very nice walking position. As the leg over here is leading and the leg back here is trailing, these two legs are kind of here in the middle. As you can see, it's without question walking along. So you can see a lot more of the stomach over here on this side of the figure, more of those skin wrinkles and stuff, more bumps and everything, and some more really nice coloration. The coloration has been added with some airbrushing, it appears, so it goes on really smooth and realistically, especially when it comes to like the transitioning back and forth. And uh, overall, I think the figure is beautiful. You can even see that we have some more really nice detailing here to the underside, lots and lots of creasing. We can also see this scale. This is in 1 20th scale, and it was obviously hand painted by Bullyland in Germany, and then you can see the detailing here running out the course of the tail, a nice curve to the body as well, really appealing look I think for a Mastodon Saurus when it comes to the walking position that we have here for this figure, so really nice figure, I absolutely need to get one of these in my collection, I feel like this figure if it were in mint condition is honestly a must have, so hopefully my paintwork will at least restore some beauty to this fantastic sculpt. You know, honestly, looking at this figure here, I think that there is a very good chance that this is the best Bullyland figure I've ever seen. Like, it is just really, really nice. Incredibly impressive being a Bullyland figure. Not to say Bullyland is bad, but they don't always produce the best figures in the world. But you can see here for a length, you are looking at about a little over seven and a half inches. Uh, actually closing in about seven and three quarter inches if we bend the tape a little bit right there or around 19 and a half centimeters you're not going to get much for a height but we'll do it anyway just because so you're looking at uh, I'd say closing in on an inch and a half or around three and a half centimeters closing in on four somewhere around there for a size comparison there is Mr. Papo T-Rex the attack pack Colovasaurus and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our Bullyland Mastodon Saurus, and you can see that the figure is by no means huge, like it's fairly small, but at the same time, when it comes to a figure like this, a species like this, I feel like it honestly is pretty much a perfect size as far as this particular species goes, so even if it does sport a, you know, smaller appearance overall, I feel like it, at the same time, has a really nice size. So... Here is my fully finished, fully repainted version of the Mastodon Saurus. Kind of painted it up the way that he had described. He gave me like some basic instructions as to how he would like it painted. And I was just continuously checking in with him to make sure that he liked how we were doing it. And I feel like it honestly turned out really nicely. And the overall paint scheme that he had chosen and I kind of created myself at the same time looks good looks natural i feel like and i'm pretty happy with the final product on the figure and honestly with the new paint job on it it shows you how insanely nice and how incredibly highly detailed the figure itself is and just how good of a sculpt Bullyland had created with this mastodon source the original paintwork does not in any way shape or form do the figure justice because the sculpt is so much nicer than the paint job that it's been given but at the same time, again, that's the paint that Bullyland had decided to give it. So, of course, finding one in good shape with that paintwork, it's always a great way to keep the figure because I love having my figures original. I'm not saying repaint every figure you get if you don't like the paint job, but as far as this one goes, considering it was really quite beat up, I feel like Semaj Larama, my good friend, was definitely on the right track as far as getting a repaint on it. And hopefully he likes it as much as I like the paint job that I have applied to it, so... In the comments section, guys, let me know what you think. If you think the original paint looked better, or if you think my newly repainted version looks better. So as far as this Bullyland Mastodon Saurus goes, it is a really beautiful figure. You honestly don't realize how good Bullyland can be sometimes until you get some of these, I think, the harder to find figures. It seems like the harder to find figures are, for some reason, the better figures that they've released. Like, 
they have a lot of figures that are still readily available on everything dinosaur, like their Giganotosaurus and like a Tyrannosaurus and stuff, but those figures honestly aren't that great. Or maybe they are and they just need a new repaint, I'm not sure. But this Mastodonsaurus, in my opinion, is the best Bullyland figure I have seen sculpt-wise, and it is just an honestly incredible looking sculpt, so much better than I think Bullyland has ever given credit for. Like, they just are continuously overlooked, I think, by most people, or kind of just passed off as not being all that great. And some of their figures obviously would give you that feeling as to why they might think that way, because again, like the Giganotosaurus isn't really that great of a figure. It's not bad, I feel like it's pretty fun, but... It's not that great either, but this Mastodon Saurus is absolutely phenomenal as far as the sculpt goes. And the only unfortunate aspect, like I had stated, is it is discontinued, so it's super hard to find and very expensive even if you can find it. So that, unfortunately, makes it a bit of a hassle to get a hold of. But if you can get a hold of one, it's definitely worth grabbing. The original paintwork, again, looked pretty good for what it is, I feel like, on one that's not nicked up and beat up so badly. It would look really quite nice. But with my new paintwork added to it, I feel like it has given the figure a brand new life and hopefully made it look a lot more realistic and alive. So if you are interested in this, I will try to find a link on eBay probably where this is currently available for sale but it's so hard to find one for sale almost all the time so I don't know that I'll actually be able to do that so if there is no link in the description just keep an eye out for it keep searching for it maybe you'll find one you'll come across it and if you can I definitely recommend picking it up and hopefully at some point I myself will be able to get a hold of one because it's a figure that I definitely would love to have in my bully land collection as well so make sure if you find this figure you pick it up and make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.